All right, there we go. Greetings. I'm joking. All jokes aside. Um, so this video um, is pretty pretty important to me because a, it was marks a year ago when I did my first individual CrossFit competition, which if I started in 2017, it took me about four years to feel comfortable enough just to go individual, um, you know, get out of my comfort zone a little bit. And anybody that's ever seen like my very first video I ever did in a baseball dugout, this whole channel was started because of me trying to get out of my comfort zone at my accounting internship. Come a long way and I still, I know I still need to get out more, but yeah, this is why this video is so important to me was because of the primary, to get out of my comfort zone and seeing what I'm capable of a little bit. You know, day one happened and I was, after day one, I was sitting in 17th, no, I was sitting in 14th place. I got 17th on event one, eighth on event two, and this was out of like 30 people. Um, so yeah, seeing that, I was, the emotions, uh, the negative talk started coming in my head a little bit. Like, you're not good enough, you might as well put it up. Like, you're done, you're not fit enough, go back to the drawing board, better luck like next time, champ, type of thing. Uh, but luckily I had like a Raya in my corner and she pretty much talked me off a ledge of emotions a little bit. Excuse me. Talking me off a level of emotion a little bit and was just telling me like, yo, you got this. Um, that you can't go back now. You did the best you could and that's all that matters. And good is better and better and best and that whole quote thing. I don't really know it verbatim, but yeah, she gave me that quote and it really helped me out a lot. Calmed me down and it allowed me to like stay focused and battle back to be in a couple spots out from podium. You know, I ended up finishing fourth for the the event. So that was that was a real big for me. And Grant, I couldn't have done it without her, but also showed me more of like what I'm also capable of if I just believe in myself more and don't be afraid to get out of that comfort zone more. So yeah, so I really hope you enjoy it. Um, this one's a big one for me. Enjoy day game. Uh, la, 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 la. Enjoy Game Day Mankato 2021. Okay. Good morning. Day two of my first indie comp. Probably like, Will, where's day one? I'll give you a brief summary of day one. Here it is. It's raining sideways. There you go. It rained the entire time. First, I was supposed to go at like noon. Then they pushed everything back an hour. And then they pushed it back five hours to like six o'clock. So then after that, we finally did the, uh, a ball throw, which is, I'm sorry. Functional bowling is not very CrossFit-y, I would say. Then we had to do a max handstand walk. Um, so max handstand, handstand walks, I do the best I can. I knew that wouldn't be the strongest event for me. So I just try to play it smart, do what I could, go as hard as I can without going into a failure because we had a two minute rest before we started event two, which was 21, 15, nine, six, three of wall balls and burpees to a plate. It was supposed to be pull-ups in there, but the, because of the rain, it was slick. So yeah, now we're on day two. Day two, here we go. Ready to spectate. <laughs> you should be competing, but you're not. No, I mean, I'll do it next year. Should have been do next year, Indy. <laughs> Day two, let's go. Yeah. How'd this morning go? We're gonna get going in just over one minute. Probably my favorite event ever. <laughs> what was it? What was it? It was the vet ball. Yeah, wall ball throw. Yeah. 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 Wall ball throw. relay. Yeah. <laughs> it's sick. The best part was all the comments being made by Ben and John. Yeah. What were they saying? He's like, don't the ball hit. <laughs> 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 